This is the second annual redo tour. Initially, I didn't set out to have this be an annual thing. I just, it just was an idea uh, that I had last year to commemorate, you know, 10 years after the release of It's You, It's Me. This year, in the moments, 10 years old, so I was kind of like, hey, I should do redo again. Let's, let's fire it back up. It's not. There is no back. Oh, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank uh, Sleepy and Boo. These guys have been bringing me out here to New York for <laughs> almost as long as this year's team's been out. And of course, for rocking it. And I love these guys. Thank you. So, my story kind of begins. Uh, a while ago, some of you guys have been here for the ride, and many of you just joined recently. But I love you guys, and I'm glad you could come out and share a special night with me if you did. It's New York tonight, Boston tomorrow. Than Toronto and Montreal. I had a hard time getting, dude, it's like I'm still remembering. I haven't played like this yeah. for a long. It's like. Okay, I had been working on some deeper tracks, so I pressed up the first redo EP. So there's probably a handful of people tonight at Output that have heard these songs, but most of them haven't. Right now it's only available on vinyl. Yeah, it's exciting the first time doing it. You gotta love New York. People waiting in line, it's raining and freezing outside. I'm wondering if the people are gonna be that up for it like that. I'm a little nervous, anxious, excited right now. Always doing it the first time. It's not like I get to play these kinds of sets all the time. I'm not really well versed in what I'm gonna do tonight. I kind of just throw 60 tracks into a folder and be like, okay, here's an idea of where I can go. Um, you know, I'm just pick from those. cold in New York, it's actually a couple degrees colder here. Boston is freezing. DJ Cascade on this little rock and some serious house music. I'm definitely impressed. <laughs> you can't find the nightclub! We can hear it though, it's somewhere around here. Where go out and play a handful of uh, small clubs and, um, you know, play some of the older records again. successful people love the idea and I had a ton of fun doing it for me it's a blast to go into these small rooms and uh, play in these intimate settings you know there's no rules in these rooms I kind of do whatever I want <laughs> 